guns are wheeled up to a B-29 super fortress on Saipan Island. It is only the beginning, now in November 1944, as these mighty bombers prepare for the first raid on Tokyo in two and a half years. Crews of the 21st Bomber Command are briefed for the job, a 1,500-mile flight that will make history. General Emmett O'Donnell, mission leader, checks final details with General Haywood Hansel, commander of the Saipan-based Super Force, and with Major Moran, his companion in the lead plane, Dauntless Dottie. All ready? Take off. the B-29s head for Tokyo. The giant bombers, equipped to range over 5,000 miles, now swiftly cover the 1,500 miles from Saipan to their objective to open the full-fledged air war against Japan. Tokyo, miles below, citadel of the Japanese Empire, a city of seven million and a center of aircraft, chemical, textile, and automotive manufacturing. Puffs of flak come up, but enemy fighters are absent. For two hours, the mass concentration of B-29s pounds industrial targets. Saipan. The first super fortress mission over Tokyo is a success. Stung by the Tokyo raid, the enemy sends bombers over the B-29 base on Saipan. Fires blaze on this base built in little more than three months by Air Force and Navy engineers in a miracle of military construction. Near the wreckage of a B-29 are the remains of one of 13 Japanese planes shot down in the raid. Despite the rain, B-29s again wing out to action, operating on a regular schedule, steadily stepping up the intensity of the war on Japan. <laughs> 